practically since the day he announced his candidacy for president in 2007, Barack Obama has been hounded by claims from the fringe right wing that he is ineligible to serve as president because he was not born in the United States as he claims, but rather born in Kenya, thereby rendering him constitutionally ineligible to be president of the United States. An illegitimate president! Now, there's no reason for any rational person to doubt Barack Obama's claim that he was born in Honolulu, but the fact that they're attempting to throw doubt on what is a pretty airtight story as far as Barack Obama's birthplace and origins go isn't even the dumbest part of the birther claims. The dumbest part is this. Even if the famous birther claim recently brought back into the headlines when it was reiterated by Donald Trump were true, that Barack Obama was not born in Honolulu, but was in fact born in Kenya, which there's no reason to believe, by the way, but let's just say, for the sake of argument, that that were true. It's completely irrelevant. Barack Obama would still be a natural-born citizen and would still be eligible to serve as President of the United States. Why do I say that? How can I possibly say that? Two sources the Constitution, and the United States Code. First, let's look at the Constitution, which lays out the legal requirements for anyone to serve as President of the United States. It's in Article 2, Section 1, fifth paragraph. No person except a natural-born citizen or citizen of the United States at the time of the adoption of this Constitution shall be eligible to the office of President. That's the relevant portion. You also have to be 35 years old. You have to have resided in the country for at least 14 years. The, the main sticking point is you have to be a natural born citizen to serve as president of the United States according to the Constitution. But what is a natural born citizen? Other than simply stating the term, the Constitution doesn't define it in detail. There is, however, a detailed definition of what a natural born American citizen is, and we find it in the United States Code. I'm referencing uh, Title 8, Section 1401 of the United States Code, Although uh, this, this was established legislatively as part of the Immigration and Nationality Act, and the statute I'm about to read is often referenced through that, it's either Title VIII, Section 1401 of the United States Code, or Section 301 of the Immigration and Nationality Act. It's the same statute, but it's referenced both ways, so you'll be able to find it. And it says this, The following shall be nationals and citizens of the United States at birth. Paragraph A, a person born in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof. Okay, there you go. Now, Barack Obama was born in the United States. He was born in Honolulu, so he qualifies under paragraph A of the statute. He is a natural-born citizen and thereby eligible to serve as president. But, remember, we're assuming that the birther claims are true, and he was not born in Honolulu. He was born in Kenya. So, we have to go down a bit further into the statute. But in paragraph G, which is this massive block of legalese that has a lot of uh, technical language defining how members of the military can count their military service as legal U.S. residents to qualify under this part, the gist of paragraph G is that a person born outside of the United States with at least one parent who is a legal citizen of the United States who has previously resided in the U.S. for at least five years, at least two of those years being after the age of 14, that child will still be a United States citizen, natural-born United States citizen. Barack Obama's mother, Ann Dunham, was born in Wichita, Kansas, lived her entire life in the United States until 1967, when Barack was six years old, and she moved with Barack to Indonesia to live with her second husband. Up until that point, she had lived her entire life in the United States. Continuous residence. So, I think she qualifies under paragraph G of the statute. Because of Barack Obama's mother being a United States citizen who had resided in the country for longer than five years, no matter where Barack Obama was born on the planet, he would still qualify as a natural-born United States citizen, and he would still be constitutionally eligible to serve as President of the United States. The birther claims that he was born in Kenya, that his birth certificate has been forged, that he's hiding something about the real place he was born, even if they were true, completely meaningless. Barack Obama is 
a United States citizen, natural born, eligible to be president because of his mother. Can we please talk about something else?